Welcome everyone, this is your boy Jwada Matsuro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBossV31, WeezGNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install Naruto script mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now make sure that you do scroll down and read the description and now it will show you the keys to activate the mod. So make sure that you do remember the keys. Once you have done that then we can get started. Now this mod is going to be really simple, really easy so all you guys got to do okay, is go to your Grand Theft Auto game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now, before we do anything, we must create a backup file. So, go to your mod folder, right click, and then now go to properties. Now, as you can see, my one is only seven gigabytes. So that's right. Right click and copy your mod folder, and then paste it onto your desktop. The reason for this, okay, is that I will show you why. Now, once you have done that, open up your Naruto extract folder, and then there will be another folder in there. Open up this folder, then we can get started. Once you have done that, then just exit out of your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, and now open up your Open IV. Then now, after that, Go to your Grand Theft Auto V Windows. While that is loading, select your Naruto Mod Installer.oiv and drag it to your desktop. Now go back to your OpenIV, go to your Tools, go to your Package Installer, and now find your OIV right there. Open the file and now install the file and now install it inside your mods folder now the reason we are doing this okay is that uh, when these files goes and installs inside your mods folder we don't know where the files is going so that's why I'm saying it is best to create a backup file close your application close your open IV close your extract folder now like I said the reason why we created a backup folder so if we want to go back we can easily just delete it because there is no way to uninstall the, the Naruto mod okay so there is no way to uninstall it the only way to uninstall it is to delete your mods folder so once you guys have done that then all you got to do next is go to your Grand Theft Auto game and I'll see you guys there and now we are back at Franklin. So I highly recommend using the Naruto pad because it is much more realistic. So I'm just going to use Franklin for an example. So to actually activate the mod, okay, you need to go to your keyboard and press your H key. Now you will get a sliding menu on your screen. So here we go. And now there it goes. This is the menu over here. And you can go and use your num keys. 
or you can use your arrow keys to go down and up on your mod menu. Now, over here it says enable your powers. So press enter. Now there you go. Now, over here we can uh, like set our powers to Naruto or whoever, okay? Um, and we got this one over here. It's just only your your electricity that is around you, you see? Changing the color, you can change it to pink, uh, to green, red, blue, white, yellow. I'm gonna choose red, but that's my favorite color. And this one over here is the Force Melee. So once you are happy with your settings, then all you gotta do is press H on your keyboard. And now it will disappear. Now we can start with our powers, okay? Well, technically as you can see on the screen. So, to do the Naruto run is this. And now, uh, you can jump higher, I think. <laughs> That's, that is pretty much fun. Now, you can change your, uh, like, your speed up for your run, if you want to. And you can change the jump. And now, uh, okay, never mind. Make sure that you do turn super jump off. I forgot. Yeah, make sure you do turn super jump off on your mod menus because it will interact with your mod. Turn that off. There you go. Now you can. There you go. Now that's pretty cool. Now you can do this. And we're back again guys, so I'm very sorry that I had to cut a lot out because I got carried away and I started playing it for about a long time, so I had to cut that out because I got carried away. So I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. And we're back on our PC, so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. Like always, if you do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out. Thank you.